Welcome back to Wiseman Company, everyone. Ben here, and today we're going to take a look at installing the Hot Pocket from Lunar Concepts. Now, these are exclusively sold on our website. They come in two different formats. So they come in a smaller dimension for thinner, skinnier rails and a thicker dimension for thicker, fatter rails like the MCX. I'm sure you've seen the MCX on Instagram and uh, YouTube even that has a hot pocket on it. It's gray. It's a little bit bigger because the MCX obviously has a bigger rail. This is a BRM 180. I just picked this up. Super excited about it. Yes, there will be a review. And I figured since I'm going to put this Ranger Green Hot Pocket on here, might as well show you how I'm going to rig it up. Obviously, the Hot Pocket's main benefit is heat mitigation. It does a really good job of that. You can get guns pretty hot and you might feel, with the Hot Pocket on, it might feel a little bit warm, but it's not bad at all. It mitigates heat really well. Uh, and then you don't have to wear a glove while shooting. I don't like wearing gloves while I shoot. kind of eliminates some dexterity in your hands. So if I can avoid using gloves, I do that. The Hot Pocket also has a couple side benefits though. It can provide some grip and comfort, but it also provides some cord management, wire management, with some of the things that you might run on your front rail. Pressure pads, um, lights, tape switches, you name it. Anything that you would need to kind of organize and keep tight to the rail so you don't get snagged on stuff. Hot Pocket can kind of keep that all organized for you. So we're gonna get this installed. This is specifically designed for M-Lock and you're probably like, what? It's designed for M-Lock, that doesn't make any sense because it's just a rail wrap. Well, it'll make sense here in a second. Okay, when you get your Hot Pocket, it's gonna come like this. You're gonna obviously have the Hot Pocket, your shock cords inside, your keeper. You can use this or you don't have to use it. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, you'll see a little Wiseman Company logo in there. Again, these are exclusively sold on our website. And they come in a number of colors and two different sizes. So let's get started. M-Lock, right? So this is M-Lock slots, three right here. You can line that up with the bottom of your rail, wherever you want to run this, forward or back. And how I would set this up is just like this. Anything on top of the gun, I would install a while. So on here I have a Steiner Otol, a laser, and I have a flashlight. Those are in, it's installed. My pressure switch, my wire is loose for right now because this is gonna help um, hold this down, keep it in place. So that's just loose for obvious reasons. I'm gonna run one of these uh, Troy Industries hand stops. Uh, I think it's actually made by Lead Faucet. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna run underneath this uh, hot pocket. And simply, you're gonna have your hardware ready to go on your hand stop and you're just gonna drop it in through the holes. So it kind of just presses in just like that. And just like that, that's how you're gonna install it to the bottom of the gun. This is great because it keeps this hot pocket from sliding around moving. The hardware from the hand stop actually pins it in place along with the short uh, shock cord but it's just an extra layer uh, that you're gonna use because you, if you're using a hand stop, it's gonna help. If you're not using a hand stop, you can totally run a hot pocket without it, not an issue. It'll stay in place for the most part. Again, this is just an added measure to keep this thing from sliding around. Okay, as you can see from this angle, this is my M-Lock hardware poking up through the bottom and I can kind of just line this up. Where do I want it? I think I want it right about there and I plug it in and then I begin to wrap. If I want it further back, I can move it further back on the rail. It all depends on your M-Lock slots. I'm gonna start installing this right now so you can see it firsthand. Okay, as you can see, hand stop is installed, hot pockets underneath it, just flopping around. And this is why it's important to install your top components first so you can kind of fit everything where you need it to go. As you can see here, the hot pocket's gonna fold up right about there, folds underneath my light, and we have obviously clearance on this side, there's nothing over here. Everybody's layout is gonna be different. Everybody has their own preference, their own equipment on top, on top of the gun, 
for the most part, you can navigate this sh shock cord to where it works around components if you had it further back. I don't really need to do that because all my components are pushed forward of the gun. So my shock cord is going to start right here and we're going to thread it through kind of like you're threading laces on a shoe over top. Okay guys, so I threaded it just like I was saying back and forth just takes a little bit of time. Um, I didn't put the pressure pad underneath the wire, underneath the shock cord yet because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like without a pressure pad. And those, those that shock cord just kind of falls in those empty slots on the pick rail. But now I'm going to loosen it up, put my pressure pad underneath it, and you'll see how it keeps it. Some of you might ask, man, isn't that pushing, like igniting, isn't that activating your pressure pad all the time? And in my experience with the pressure pads I have, it does not. The shock cord isn't strong enough to activate it, um, just kind of holds it in place. Okay, here it is with the pressure pad underneath. You can still push it, click it, it's perfectly fine. That shock cord just holding it in place. Again, that shock cord isn't strong enough to keep the button activated all the time. Now, if you really cinch on this stuff, on the shock cord, would it activate it? Probably, but again, in my experience, I haven't seen that. So uh, this is just kind of so a, a side benefit of the Hot Pocket. You get some management of your accessories with the Hot Pocket. Here's the little keeper that comes with the Hot Pocket. It's spring-loaded. And keep this focused, and you're gonna just thread the ends through those two holes here. All right, guys, there you go. If you kind of figure out your layout ahead of time before you start installing this, it's going to work a lot better. And what I mean by layout is where you want your light, laser, front sight, anything you want to add to the gun, vertical grip or hand stop. If you know or plan that out ahead of time, it's just going to make everything a little bit easier. And as you can see, you can get a pretty darn cool little setup. Got my pressure pad, got my light. There is a full review coming on this upper. I have a lower coming for it. Uh, the actual dedicated BRN 180 lower. I think it's going to be a cool little video. Uh, I've had some experience with these guns. I know they run. I hope I have a good one as well. Guys, that's the Hot Pocket install. These are available on our website, wisebencompany.com. They're from Lunar Concepts. These do go very quickly when we put them up on the website, so have patience. They're coming back in stock all the time. Thank you for watching. My name's Ben. We'll see you on the next video.